Well, good afternoon. My name is Pastor Brady Henderson, and I serve as the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Gaston, but I also lead a ministry called Pastor Brady Henderson Ministries. And that's how you found this video today through our Facebook page. And today is actually the first devotional video of Pastor Brady Henderson Ministries. As you've been seeing on our Facebook page, um, we have been releasing some online content to try to encourage you spiritually based on the Bible. We also post links to sermons and different things of that nature. But we also want to start coming to you in this form, devotionals through video. Hopefully they can encourage you no matter where you are. Brady Henderson Ministries wants to reach you with the gospel of Christ. Brady Henderson Ministries is uh, biblical teaching, passionate, passionate preaching, and people reaching. That's why we exist. Of course, to glorify God through biblical teaching, passionate preaching, and people reaching. So we hope to do that today and in the future with these videos. We also want you to continue to be on the lookout for our website. Uh, BradyHenderson.org is actually an active domain right now. We're not done with the website completion. We're still working on that, but we want you to continue to be on the lookout for that official release of the website. Uh, as far as our devotion today, I want to speak with you very briefly about being a servant. What does it mean to be a servant? If I were to ask you right now without telling you about being a servant, what would you say you are? Maybe you would give me your occupation. Maybe you would tell me you're a husband or you're a wife or you're a father or you're a mother, you're a brother, you're an uncle, you're a sister, you're an aunt. You might give me some of those titles. But how often do we view ourselves as servants? Because if we're a follower of Christ, we're to be a servant. And that reminds me of the brothers of Jesus, the half-brothers of Jesus. Because we know Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. So, um, uh, Mary and Joseph had other children, and two of them were James and Jude. Both of them in the New Testament have letters that they wrote that are a part of our New Testament. And both of them begin it in a similar way. But I want to show you uh, from James 1.1. 1, 1. Jude does this same thing very similarly. But I want to show you from James 1.1. 1, 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Notice how he opens that. James could have opened that, Hey, I am the brother of Jesus. Hey, I'm in charge of the church at Jerusalem. Hey, I'm the first one to write a letter that's going to be put in the New Testament. He could have put all those things. But James decided to say, James, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at that word servant in the original language in the Greek, it's a word called doulos. And that word doulos can actually be translated to mean a bond servant or a slave. So he was calling himself a slave to Christ, which means we, and a bond servant would be someone willingly bound to his master. We are to be willingly bound to Christ to serve him no matter what. So that means if we're going to serve him and we're going to truly exemplify and exhilarate and live out the word doulos, then that means that we are going to put away all of our pet sins. We're going to put all away all the things that we like to do. And we're going to truly live to be a servant of Jesus Christ. Your title doesn't matter other than the fact that you are a doulos, which is a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to serve today. No matter where you are, find a way to serve. Find a local church to serve in. And remember that Pastor Brady Henderson Ministries is always here for you. Anything we can do, let us know. And we'll be more than happy to do so. Whether it's sermons, whether it's praying for you, whether it's revival or men's conference dates, anything that you would like for us to do, just let us know uh, by sending us a private message or by emailing our ministry. Don't forget to be a servant, be a doulos from James 1.1. Thank you and have a blessed day.